A brief aside about a helpful way to visualize the quantum state of a qubit. It can be represented by a vector pointing to some place on a sphere called the block sphere. Each vector is parameterized by two angles, theta and phi. The state zero is on the north pole and the state one is on the south pole. And an equal superposition of zero and one is somewhere along the equator where phi is equal to the relative phase between the two parts of the superposition. So this state here would be equal to one over root two, zero plus e to the i phi one, where phi is that phase. When we measure an observable of the qubit, the result is always one of two options, corresponding to the two possible states of the qubit. For the experiment we're about to do, we'll look at three observables and their corresponding operators, x, y, and z. When you measure any of these observables, you get either plus one or minus one, with a probability for each that depends on the angle between the qubit's vector on the block sphere and the measurement axis. As you might expect, z measures along the z axis, x along x, and y along y. We're talking about observables, because with a quantum system, we can no longer just know things about the system without measuring them. And each observable has a corresponding operation because measurements require operations. It might not be obvious, but it turns out that the operations, called operators, that correspond to each of these observables, x, y, and z, are rotations of pi around their respective axes. So x is a rotation around x, y around y, and z around z. So to see if these operators commute or not, we can check to see if rotations on a sphere commute. If they do, the uncertainty principle won't apply, and we would be able to know x, y, and z about a qubit with perfect precision. If they don't commute, then we'll be able to find a new uncertainty relation for the qubit. Watch the point on this ball as I rotate first around x and then around y. It ends up here. Now let's try it in the reverse order. So I rotate first around y and then around x. It ends up over here. So they definitely don't commute. That means we can't simultaneously know a qubit's exact x, y, and z values. We'll have an uncertainty relation.